Why do so many women experience painful nipple trauma in the early postnatal period on discharge from hospital? In my practice as a midwife and breastfeeding specialist, I became aware of painful complications experienced by women who were discharged from hospital that I was not observing with women who chose to give birth at home. This raised the question for me, why was this happening? This became the basis of my PhD research. Of the 653 women in my research experiencing painful nipple trauma, 85% had been taught the cross cradle technique. This commonly taught forceful technique involves holding the newborn baby by the base of the head, neck and shoulders, accompanied by reshaping the breast, directing the maternal nipple towards the baby's nose, then shoving the baby onto the breast. It makes me think, how would you feel if you were shoved to your dinner plate every time you ate? My research clearly shows that this forceful practice impedes the newborn's instinctive skills to breastfeed for survival and significantly increases the risk of painful nipple trauma. There may be some women who do not experience complications who use this technique and I do respect every woman's choice on how she feeds her baby. However, over my decades of experience, sitting beside breastfeeding mothers, experiencing painful nipple trauma when they change to gently cradling their baby, observing the key principles of the Thompson Method, most women remarked, why wasn't I shown this before? The most common remark was, oh my goodness, there's no pain. If you're worried or experiencing painful nipple trauma or you have previously experienced nipple trauma and you were taught the cross cradle technique, my encouragement would be to avoid using the cross cradle technique if possible. I'm Dr Robin, hoping to guide you towards pain-free breastfeeding.